Hi. Today, I'll be doing the AND hands-on. By the end of this presentation, you'll be in a position to come up with your own AND build files for your Java projects. As I have mentioned in the AND theory presentation, it is an open source tool written in Java and it automates the build process for your applications. What we have here is a very simple Java project. It has a source folder within which we have two packages which hold all our Java classes. And it also has a build.xml file which is the ant configuration file or ant build file. The root element of every ant build XML is the project element and this particular build XML has four different targets namely clean which deletes your build folders make dir which creates the folders which you require and where you want your classes and jars to be copied the compile target which compiles your java classes and then the jar target which packages these compiled classes into a jar file if you look here the jar in turn depends on compile because you need to compile your classes before you even package them into jars and the compile in turn depends on clean and make directory the targets here so that is how all the targets within ant are interdependent on each other and every ant file has a default target which you can specify on the project name which is which in this case is jar so if you run this uh, ant build without telling which target to be run by default ant will run the jar target and at the top we have variable declarations you can use the, the once declared you can the, use these variables in your targets and the tasks within your targets for example the jar target uses the jar task which and provides and it needs it has two attributes which is the destination file and the base directory as you can see the destination file uses the build directory which is declared up here I am using my D drive and I am creating a folder called build under it you can point it to any location you want to and then I am also using another variable to name my jar which is nothing but the project name which is user profile database layer project the clean target deletes uses the delete task that's provided by Ant to clear or delete the build folder the make directory creates the folders that I need it, re it recreates the folders which I need to copy my classes and jars which in my case are D, D drive build and D drive build slash classes that is where I want my classes to be copied the compile target then will compile the class files under source directory which points to src here right here under my project it compiles all these classes and then copies them to the destination directory which is the D drive build classes and then the jar command will jar all these classes that are generated here here into the jar file so now let's get into some action Eclipse has a ant view you can go to window show view ant view drag and drop your ant build file here and then you can see all the targets you can click on individual targets or you can just click on run the ant build itself by default as I said it will run the jar target in this case so run as and build as you can see in the console here it clean it cleaned the folders it recreated the folders the classes and uh, classes fold build and classes folders then it compiled the classes and it also built the jar file so if you go to my D drive you will see a folder called you should see a folder called build under which I have classes which has the compiled classes as you can see and if I go back you'll see that it also created 
a folder called jars under which my project jar is copied. Going back, we can run these targets by just du by double clicking on them. So if I run the clean target now, just the clean target, it's going to delete my D drive build folder. Now if I go back, there is no folder called build on the D drive. It cleaned it. Now if I run the make directory, it creates the build folder and the classes folder under it because that is what I'm doing here. Make directory build directory, which is the D drive build, and then make directory build directory slash classes, which is the classes folder. Now let's run the compile. Right now, there are no classes compiled or you don't see any classes on the classes folder. When I run the compile, it actually compiles these Java files here and it copies into the, as you can see, copies under the classes folder. Now let's generate the jar file for these classes by running the jar target. As you can see, it creates the jar folder, jars folder, and also we have the jar file which has the classes inside it. So it's that easy to come up with an AND script and to build your project. And to conclude, before I summarize it, you can see here that the base directory, I uh, have it as dot on the project element. There is an attribute called base directory and I'm point, I'm have the value I have is dot which stands for the current directory. So if you don't use absolute paths anywhere in, in, while declaring variables or um, when you compile your class files, by default, ant will copy them onto the current directory which in my case is wherever my project lives or wherever I run this ant script from. We can also run ant from the command line. I will show you how to do that when we do the uh, web app hands-on in the future. What I want you to do is to create your own Eclipse project, name it whatever you want to and then use the ant script, this ant script which I will uh, post on my blog. All you need to do is, once you have this AND script, copy it on into your Eclipse project like, like this. Just copy it onto your project. Name it whatever you want. Come into the, open the AND script and then rename the project name to your project name. And you can also name your, the name, we can also change the name here. And you should be able to compile run all this against your project you need not have the same project which i have here you can have your own uh, java project name it whatever you want try that and uh, you can always shoot me an email if you have any questions at baratsblog at gmail.com to summarize now you know how a simple and script looks like you know how to uh, you know how uh, the various targets within the AND script depend on each other, you know what a default target means, you know how to run them from within Eclipse, and you also know what the property variables are, the various properties that you can declare and then use within your targets and tasks. In the next presentation, I'll be introducing you to the J2W web application basics. Until then, happy build automation. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing and keep sharing and learning. <laughs>